Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. I'm already kind of cracking myself up this morning because this message is gonna either turn people one way like, oh man, I totally get it, James, that's super awesome. Or you're gonna be over here going, Man, James, you are such a bore. And man, where, where is where's the where's the spontaneity? Where's the openness to spirit? And this comes on the heels of a question I received a couple of days ago. And the message was basically, "Hey, James, tell me about your morning." And I told them about my morning and my morning routine. And then they said, "How long have you been doing that for?" I said, "Well, you know, probably about twenty-five or so years, maybe even closer to twenty-eight to thirty years." And they're like. Like the same thing? And I said, yeah, pretty much the exact same thing every single morning for that long of a time. And they were like, I don't want any part of that. And I was like, I totally get it. But here's what I want you to hear this morning. Have you ever woken up in the morning and you're going, hmm, I wonder if I'm gonna have a great inner dialogue and it's gonna be one about that's championing my cause. And your cause may be personal peace. Your cause may be putting something beautiful out in the world, you know, bringing compassion and love and light out in the world, expressing your, your purpose and doing it at a level of passion that is you know, just like palpable passion that's so purpose-filled and just open. You know, what I've learned, and, I, and I've studied this, and I've lived it, and, I, and I've talked to a lot of people who've created amazingly abundant lives, and I don't just mean abundance in terms of wealth, but more importantly, impact in the world. All of these people, every single one of them, have a very predictable sequence they do every single morning. Mine begins with a mantra, which is, oh my gosh, I am open to life, and I am just gonna allow the channel of spirit and love and light to come through me, in me, and as me. And then I get out of bed, and then I'm like, boom, right into movement. And I love doing my sweating my prayers each and every morning. Right from there, it's right into meditation. And right from there, it's into the same breakfast, the same boring, predictable breakfast. And that's my sequence every morning, which is a foundation of predictable, which may look like from somebody going, oh my gosh, that is so boring. So my question to all of us this morning is that if we wonder whether or not get in the morning and not really having a plan is working for us, just kind of like, well, you know what? I think I might watch the news this morning. That may be, that may be uplifting. Er, that's never going to happen. Or I, I wonder when I see someone I love, my lover, my spouse, my kids, my dog, if I, if I was going to be totally present with them, what would happen then? Would, would there be a level of harmony? Would there be a level of exchange of good energy? Would there be a level of exchange of possibility for me and the person who I love? That's predictable. It's always predictable. It always delivers in the promise. It always lifts each other. And I believe, as I look back at my life, when I was a little boy, I, every single morning, there was a level of unpredictability. And I don't need to get into all the different nuances of what it was like to grow up in my world, but it was highly unpredictable. And I found myself just craving just a, a level where I could, I could get a handhold which I've come to know them actually as a heart hold. I want to get a heart hold in my life that then I could build upon, something that I could have faith in, something that I could control, something where I knew that I was not going to get caught up in the drama of not having a practice that was going to deliver always, 100% of the time, a greater level of peace and a greater level of purpose. That's why I do what I do. And I'm going to encourage you to consider what's the one, two, three, seven things that become for you, your heart hold into your morning, that deliver you a sense of a path that you can follow each and every day, that there's a, highly, there's a high likelihood that more peace, more purpose, more passion, more possibilities are delivered from that heart hold that you give yourself each and every morning. You know, a daily non-negotiable, a strategy of self-love, a strategy of performance based on predictability, which may to the outside world look like it's boring. But you and I know, when we do something with that intention, the delivery is always going to be a blessing. Not a boring thing, but a blessed thing. And that is what gives us an opportunity to outshine the darkness, to outlove the hate, and become a beneficial presence on the planet. We get a chance to do the inner work every single morning so we can go out and do the great big outer work with a sense of faith, a greater sense of fearlessness, compassion, courage, and a level of conviction that transcends reason because the reason's bigger than us. So with that, here's to the predictable, here's to the boring, 
and the blessing that comes with it. Much love and every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.